stress is making you moody and fatigued or even unhealthy, it could be a hormone deficiency with a simple solution, and that's good news. We've got Dr. Richard Lacone from the Institute of Anti-Aging. He's here to help, along with his patient, Nina Westerfield, and her incredible mother, Nancy Westerfield. Uh, Nina, I'm telling you what, you've got good genes. Because if your mom is 81 years old, oh my gosh, does she look fantastic? Well now, Dr. Lacone, they're both your patients. Who saw right. you first? Well, Nancy came to me first. Uh, Nancy had been uh, having had menopause a few years before, mm -hmm. had been on the, the conventional uh, hormone replacement plan, and she was having problems with it, so uh, she decided to try out the bioidentical or natural hormones. And I think, as Nancy would tell you, she feels it did a lot for her. Do you know, when I first started having symptoms, which was 20 years ago, I was on synthetic hormones because that's Wasn't all that the, the way it was. That's all they ago. had to offer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was on Primarin mm -hmm. all those years, and they left you on the hormone, you know, until after the menopause because it had so many benefits. The bone density was better and so forth. But after so long, I became concerned. And when I heard about bioidentical hormones as a replacement for what I was on, I went for it, and Dr. Lacone was the one that I went to at that time. So I have been with him for eight years. I went to him when I was 73, and I started the hormone program that he has, and I can't tell you. Well, what looking it has like she looks, <laughs> what was that program, <laughs> Dr. Lacone? Because, I mean, she, uh, you just, you're just vibrant. You look fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I see others my age, and I have no incapacities. I go to the gym three days a week and work out with That's a trainer. That's right there. You know? yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then your daughter, now we were talking earlier, you were not experiencing symptoms of menopause, but you obviously, because your mom did so well with Dr. Lacone, just exactly. thought you'd check it out on your own before menopause hits. Exactly. Because it's going to hit. It will. It will. <laughs> I saw the benefits that she was getting, and I never had any question in my mind that I would, you know, follow in her footsteps. So I went to see Dr. Lacone before I had any symptoms. I think at the time, she still had her menstrual periods, and at the time, right. really, mm -hmm. the only thing that was bothering you was you were feeling sleep disturbance and tired, a little right. fatigue, things yeah, like that. I would that. wake up flashes yet, like from perimenopause? Nothing. N Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I was waking up during the night and having a difficult time going back to sleep, but that was it. And honestly, I didn't make the association at the time, but I went to see Dr. Lacone early because I thought it would be easier and better to maintain my levels rather than try to uh, reverse any of the symptoms mm -hmm. of so going through, of losing hormones. And Nina just got a simple bedtime dose of progesterone and <clears throat> it sleep. Worked I sleep fabulous. Sleep I have no problem sleeping This is such a, a classic issue for women who are premenopausal or perimenopausal is the kind of contemporary word. You know, there's still many years from actually having the menopause, but well, they have sleep disturbance. Reading your, your information, 40 to 50, but you started at 61? No, I started during my menopausal period okay. back in the early 50s. Okay. But then I did not go to Dr. Lacone and get on General the bioidentical gotcha. until right. I was Synthetic. 73. Wasn't having the... Uh -huh. uh -huh. just, uh -huh. just, I still can't believe you're 81. God, <laughs> you're so lucky to have a mom like that. <laughs> now tell us why most doctors don't do, or why a lot of doctors don't do this type of, of uh, program that you do when you see the benefits are just so incredible. Well, I think it has to do with the information available to physicians in training and later on. Certainly, you know, the major pharmaceutical companies are, are selling their, you know, conventional synthetic uh, hormone replacement products. It's a, it's a big thing. So so uh, a lot of doctors really don't get any exposure to bioidentical hormones unless they just happen to, you know, go see a meeting or at a conference or something. So uh, when I heard about it, I was very intrigued with it. And uh, uh, at that time, my wife, Dana, was having some kind of perimenopausal symptoms, uh, kind of like Nina. And, like what uh, symptoms was she getting? Well, getting, you know, sleep disturbance, mood disturbance, feeling uh, 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 uneasy, having a little bit of the brain fog that has to do with poor sleep. A lot of the symptoms re are a reflection of the poor sleep pattern that the 40-something-year-old woman who's definitely premenopausal experiences. So, you know, cognitive, you know, disturbance, you know, memory decline, fatigue, a little bit of, lib you know, decreased libido. Uh, certainly the, the full-blown symptoms of menopause are years away. 
but there's there's perimenopausal symptoms, and again, they're just you know moody. Um, some some people might say it's kind of like having PMS all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, and it's sad for the husbands too, oh, because yes. these poor guys <laughs> shaking their heads. Yes, yes, God bless us. These poor guys have to deal with us. Absolutely. And we can blame it on stress from work. The boss is obnoxious. The kids are misbehaving, and yet there might be a biological little progesterone at night frequently is a major, major factor. And a lot of doctors will interpret those symptoms as depression and, and suggest that you try some antidepressants. And my, my suggestion there is try a little bedtime progesterone instead of an antidepressant at first, you know, and, and see if that doesn't do the trick. Because if you're in that 40 something range, sometimes that's all you need. Mm, mm, mm. Now, uh, when we talk about hormones, it, I, I'm going through perimenopause. My mom is on hormone replacement. Mm -hmm. She's 71. Doesn't look like you did. I hope she's not watching. But <laughs> why, why can't I just be? Why can't I just endure the symptoms myself? Well, certainly you can. I mean, but in a sense, why do that if there's something better? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if you can take I a mean, safe it, alternative. I mean, is there truly health benefits Absolute to this health other benefits. than psychological? You know, I mean, there's a thousand studies that uh, that will you know describe the benefits of uh, of hormone replacement uh, certainly it's still a little bit controversial but you know